All right, Coach. Uh, so, second year in a row. Sorry. <laughs> You're good. Uh, preseason number one overall ranking. Uh, yeah. What is your reaction to that? Well, it, you know, it's nice that people think of us that way, but we're concerned with what happens at the end, and we're concerned with, with how, you know, our process of getting there at the end of the year. So, um, it, it's flattering that, that people think that highly of us. Uh, we're, we're excited about it, but for the most part, it's – it's about us, and it's about you know just working in the gym day to day, and, and working on our technique, and and just taking everything one day at a time. To sound cliche, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, do you feel like with that ranking, there's you know, added pressure because you know not not just the expectation, you know, but everyone you know voted you at the top, and the expectation to really come home with that national championship. Well, yeah, there is that, but we went through that last year, so I think we learned a lot from from going through that. Um, you know, and I think you know probably some opponents want us want to want to vote us there again to see if we'll you know make sure we you know make us look bad if we don't. What whatever the case may be, but the, the bottom line is it's about us. It's about how we work every day in the gym and and how much we pay attention to detail and and basically how we execute. Yeah, and for you know a very veteran team, have any of the guys really made note of it, or you know are they kind of working with the younger guys, really just kind of brush it off? They, the seniors have been great leaders this year. They've they've really I th thought done a great job of kind of I, I use the term driving the bus, as far as keeping guys uh, focused on what's really important, and that's you know each other as a group uh, and, and working on ourselves in practice and really, really you know making sure guys are walking the line. Um, so, won the first regular season match of the year against Alberta last week. Uh, first competition about a month and a half for the team. Yeah. So, what was your assessment of how they played? I thought maybe about a B minus. Um, they were, uh, you know, we were pretty good for playing our first match, you know, with the lights on and a referee in the stand. So, um, uh, I was pleased with, with us. I thought we served pretty well. Um, I thought we blocked okay on the easy ones, but uh, I don't think we created enough blocks. Uh, we passed really well. I think we, uh, uh, if we can continue to pass like that, our offense is going to click. We had some guys hitting at some high numbers, but we need to get some other folks hitting uh, at, at a better clip. And, and when we do that, uh, things will become easier, and, and that's a relative term in our league. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so this week you have Northridge and Long Beach State slated, uh, two teams that you swept earlier in the preseason. Do you expect any differences in these games? You know, in their preparation, what you expect to see out of them? Yeah, we uh, with Northridge, it's it, he played a lot of different players against us. So I, we've got a decent handle on who he thinks going to play, uh, but y you never know until you get out there. Long Beach, I think we have a better idea of what we're going to face uh, on the on the Friday match. I when we faced them, they did, they weren't playing one of their their probably one of their top players in Jim Boffman, who has been a starter for two years. He's he's played middle blocker, he's played outside hitter, and now he's playing opposite. And I think they would like for him to be a big part of what they do. So um, though we've played both teams uh, in the fall, I don't know how much of what we really saw is going to be on the floor against us this week. So. Uh, we got a good idea, uh, but for us, it's, it's mainly focusing on, on, on what we're doing. Yeah, and like those two teams, uh, both <coughs> ranked, you know, the schedule this year is full of top 15 opponents. Yeah. Uh, how do you see these difficult matchups shaping this team? Well, we've been through most, been through most, you know, most of our guys have been through this uh as far as playing a league schedule, we're, we've got a lot of seniors and a lot of upperclassmen that are contributing to what we're doing. So they understand what it's like to play at the different venues. They understand what the preparation's like, what to expect from the staff, what to expect, uh, you know, uh, curveballs, all that kind of stuff. So uh, it's, it's easier for, for us to focus on, on us and focus on, on the task at hand rather than letting outside uh, – entities or influences uh, affect what we do. And uh, just to wrap it out, um, big game tonight in college football. Do you have any predictions for what's going to happen between uh, Oregon and Auburn? Uh, I <laughs> it's going to be a good game. Uh, y you don't want to get up at any point and go to the fridge. Um, I, hear, I heard a really interesting stat on touchdowns. Both teams are number one and two in the country in touchdowns longer than 25 yards. 
They are number one and number four in drop, touchdown drives, two minutes, around two and a half minutes or less, and they're both uh, number one in touchdown drives in three plays or less. So uh, i got to imagine there's going to be some excitement, but uh, I would... You know, it's crazy to say, but I guess I'd have to pull for the Ducks because you gotta, you got to want to see the Pac-10 do well.